All right, guys, so before we start the repair, let's just talk about what we're gonna need for this. Um, you're going to need a ratchet with a 10 millimeter head, like this, right? So we'll just, okay, you're gonna need one of these. No extension piece for this repair, just a normal ratchet. You're going to need a screwdriver with a Phillips head um, to it. So let's just show what that looks like. Looks like this. Can you see it? Come close, just show them. Something like this, okay? You're gonna need that. And you're going to need a plastic trim removal kit. I got this off Amazon like two years ago. It was like 10 or 15 bucks. Um, it lasted me forever. It's two years later and I still use it. Um, it comes with stuff like this. We're mainly going to need something like this when we're working on it, okay? So now that we got all the tools out of the way, let's get started. All right, guys, so today we're going to be replacing the uh, driver's side side view mirror on this 2013 uh, Toyota Camry XLE Hybrid. And uh, so the side view mirror that I got is uh, aftermarket. It's not OEM from Toyota. And I got it from Platinum Plus, right? Um, it looks just about identical, and it looks like this. Okay, it comes with one mirror and a cap that's uh, painted body color to the car. Um, so the first step in replacing your mirror, if you buy it from Platinum Plus, right, that's what they're called, is uh, if you can see this mirror just has a bunch of clips on the inside or this cap, all you want to do is line it up with your mirror like this and pop the clips in. That's it. Okay, so yeah, first step, just pop in the mirror cap on top, it snaps in, and uh, then uh, we'll get started from there. Okay guys, so for this first step, you're gonna need a plastic trim removal kit, uh, like this, and you're going to need a smaller uh, trim removal piece like this, or you could use a flathead screwdriver. I don't like those things because they normally scratch up trim pieces, but either one works. So the first step is to remove this little inner piece of the door handle right um, you can see it kind of pops up a little bit on this side you just want to put your screwdriver or the trim removal kit piece in here and apply some leverage and just pop it out there you go and you want to pop it out and uh, as you can see there's a little screw in there right you're gonna want to go ahead and remove that screw with a uh, Phillips screw head driver what a uh, Phillips screw head driver a uh, Phillips screw head driver <laughs> 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 okay guys so this next step is a little scary we're actually going to be removing this whole uh trim piece here with the window controls um it sounds a little scary but it's really not that hard you still need that plastic trim removal uh piece and you want to go in right from the top right and right in the middle between where it meets this uh hard and cheap little plastic you want to shove that trim removal piece in and just pop it off let's see come on yep there you go and uh you can see some wiring harnesses back there you're going to want to unclip those let's just keep it rolling and unclip these joints oh geez i don't want to break this um
Okay guys, the, f the front one as you saw came out really easily, but this rear one is tricky. Just pressing on this is not enough. You actually wanna take a screwdriver and shove it in here, right? And push down and prop it out. Let me show you here. See, you wanna get it as close to the edge as possible, push down, and then while you're pushing down, kind of push it out. Nope, I didn't get it. Let's see here one last time. There you go, see? See how I kind of push forward then? It just easily comes right out. Let's wiggle it a little bit, and there you go. It is disconnected and, so make sure I didn't do any damage here. Yep, completely disconnected. Okay guys, so uh, for the next step, we're gonna remove two more screws. We're gonna re remove this one that we just uh, exposed, right? So same type of screw all around. Go ahead and just, Okay, so once you, that was gross. Uh, once you remove that screw, this armrest should just come right off, right? And it should expose another screw. There we go. Yeah, so apply some pressure, lift off your armrest, and uh, where'd I put my screwdriver? Um, another screw right here. Exact same type of screw go If you want to be fancy hold your pinky up like this no, no, stop! Pinky! Pinky! I had to remove that too All right, there we go all right guys, so this next step is uh, pretty wild. What we're gonna do is remove this whole trim piece section here with the speaker cover and all, and we're going to remove this window trim, or this trim piece that kind of covers up all the side view mirror hookup points. So when you're doing this, I recommend taking off the side view mirror piece first. So we'll just go ahead and just pop these pieces off. As you can see, there's just like these three little clip-on pieces. And this is pretty much the same thing that holds this in, All right? So just start peeling back and unpopping these pieces all around. Holy sh jeez, man, it's not coming off from the bottom. Let's see. Go all the way around and just Oh, is this two-piece? What is going on here? Let's see. No, it's one piece. That was a dead bug. That's gross. Oh. One last clip here. All right, there we go. Okay, so now, Joe, go ahead and look back here, show them. There's one wire connecting at the bottom here. We're gonna wanna disconnect that too, All right? So let's just, um, here, Joe, show them the wire here. No, come down, come down and around so you can get it up close. Can you guys see that, hopefully? Let's see if we can, can they see it now? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to stretch these cords out too much here, but I mean, when you're doing this, you'll see it, you know. Um, but yeah, you just want to disconnect that one piece right there, and the door comes completely off. Here, are you still recording? Yeah. Cool. Um, here, do a zoom up. You can kind of see what the clip looks like to give you guys an idea. All you have to do is put pressure right here and pull it out, and it comes right out. And uh, there is your completely exposed door. Now let's speed this up because I don't want anything touching that speaker. Um, here, you can see we're probably going to need a wrench uh, uh, to uh, take this off. And basically we're going to undo these three bolts, unplug the mirror assembly controls and all that stuff right here, and uh, put on a new mirror and we're going to be done, okay? So let's get started. Okay guys, so um, I mean it's pretty obvious, but just for the video I'm going to uh, explain everything out. When you're uh, reattaching it, you can see that there's two little plug pieces here that obviously line up with two little holes over here. And uh, when you're doing it, you want to feed this wire in through first. 
right? Go ahead. I'll show them just because. This big central hole is what you feed the wire through, right? And uh, we're gonna line up those two little things, make sure it's nice and tight, right? And uh, just take those those 10 millimeter bolts that we just took out and just start uh, putting them by, back in. Here, let's tighten this one. Don't tighten them all. Uh, when you're putting them in, don't like tighten them all all the way until you've gotten all three in. Uh, otherwise, uh, when you go to put in your last bolt, it's not really gonna line up right. Let's just put this bottom one in too. Right, okay. Let's just start screwing these things back in. Okay, so now that this is on nice and tight, right, uh, go ahead and plug this wire back in, just like so. Great, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so this is gonna be a pain in the butt to do, but the next step is we're going to rewire the light for the puddle light here. That's that wire that we took off down here. Uh, so go ahead and let's see here. I might need some help doing this, but Go ahead, line this up, and geez, man. And there you go. It's back into place. And now we just want to snap and click all these little things. Look, these are what we're going to pop in. You see these are going to pop into these holes all around the door. Just line them all up with the little holes, and we're just going to push it right back in. Little higher than that, right here. Oh, make sure you start taking some of this out stuff through the doors too. Look, oh, door handle actually goes in through here. Okay, yeah, make sure to connect your door handle first. I hope you guys saw how I did that. It, there were just clips behind it, and I just clipped it into place. So, there you go. Door handles in place. Let's see what else. Let's just make sure um, these two wires for the mirror and the locks is through. That's it, right, guys? George, did we take anything else out? We no, didn't, right? So. No. I think everything's lined up too. You can just wait. No. Okay, everything is lined up now. So I'm just gonna start pushing it into place. Right? I want to make sure, I mean, I know it looks like I'm being stupid here. It looks here. loose. What? It looks loose. Does it? On this side. From where? Here? No, it's on. But you guys gotta make sure you pound it though, because if it is loose, it's gonna start rattling and it's gonna sound like garbage. Um, looks like, yeah. I mean, there is, if you saw, there's a foam thing all around, a foam lining all around, so when it hits the metal, it doesn't rattle, but still, you wanna make sure you get every single clip really, see, I think I just got one right there. Make sure you get all them in. And the next step is the same deal with this. Same three little clip pieces. We're gonna line it up here. Look, come closer. We're gonna line it up here like this, right? Um, right these holes, just like this, and pop it into place, just like that. Bam, done. Now, what is next? Uh, we got a couple screws, guys. So now we're gonna uh, put back in these two white uh, Phillips head screws that we took out. Remember, um, there's one that goes in right here where the armrest was. And there's uh, one that goes in right here where the uh, window and uh, mirror controls were at. So we're just gonna screw these in. Okay, right. I know this is in reverse order. We actually took this one out first and put this one in, or took this one out second, but it doesn't matter. Um, go ahead, screw it in. Nice and tight. 
and then we get to put our armrest back on right uh, here are the clips you're gonna line them all up with these little holes here right pretty self-explanatory you guys know what you're doing um, let's see it just what the heck was this white bulge here before I do not remember it being there okay but yeah line it up pop it in there you go that's done um you know what we can just put in the last screw here too um well, let's put this black screw in it goes right here uh, by the uh window switch door handle whatever you want to, not window switch it is a door handle not <laughs> um but go ahead screw that back in like this let me get up and do it cool then we take this black trim piece that we took out this is actually the first thing we removed but we'll just go ahead um same deal it has four clips go ahead pull this back and uh push it in right. there you go nice and tight and then um all we have left here is this has plastic clip pieces right same deal, you were gonna line it up, like this pink one right here lines up right in the back, All right? And uh, so we're going to plug our very annoying wiring harnesses back in here, like so. Here, you wanna test the mirror real quick? Actually, let's turn the car on. Just make sure it all works. There you go. It all works. Actually, here. Let's see if the mirror works. Oh wait, I was controlling the right side. Oh, there you go. Look, the mirror's working perfectly. Can they see it? Moving around? There you go. And uh, so everything works, so let's just go ahead. All right, my bad guys, uh, my phone connected to the Bluetooth. But the last step, we've uh, wired up our wiring harnesses here, and all we're gonna do is uh, push it back in and make the clips clip in, and uh, that's it, you're done. <laughs> all right guys, just because I know some of you guys are gonna be curious about what this aftermarket mirror looks like compared to the original, that's the aftermarket. Uh, let's go look at the OEM here. As you can see, there's like no difference. Now, I'm a picky guy. And uh, when I was looking at it, I did notice that this aftermarket one, where's my finger? There it is. This aftermarket one is like a deeper black than the Camry black. The Camry black has like a bit of like dark blue in it, but otherwise you can see for yourself, they are pretty much identical. Okay, nobody's really gonna notice. And uh, really I'm being like super, super picky here. It is like, it is like, I'd say 98% spot on with OEM so yeah there you guys go hope it helped all right guys so that was a very quick little tutorial on how to change the uh, side view mirror on your Toyota Camry uh, I hope this helped you guys and uh, I'll see you guys next video